I'm going to use steam tables to calculate the fugacity of water at 250 degrees C, 2.50 megapascals pressure. The way we're going to do this is we're going to relate fugacity to Gibbs free energy. So if I have Gibbs free energy G2 at some condition, Gibbs free energy G1, different condition, but the same temperature, then that's going to be related to the log of the fugacity 2 over fugacity 1. And, of course, we're going to use the steam tables because we have enthalpy and entropy, and so we can get Gibbs free energy. So what we're going to do is pick two conditions. One condition, 250 degrees C, 2.5 megapascals. The other condition, 250 degrees C and a low pressure, 0 0.01 in the steam tables. Because at a low pressure, we know the fugacity. So condition one, the fugacity is going to be equal to the pressure. Because at very low pressures, water is going to behave as an ideal gas. So let's look at the steam tables and look at the values. So here are the values from steam tables. I use this Excel spreadsheet on the Learn Chemie website. And remember this condition, fugacity one is equal to pressure one which is 0 0.010 megapascals. So let's calculate then the Gibbs free energy at these two conditions. So you can see I've the definition of Gibbs free energy. Important here, that temperature in, is in Kelvin. Now to use the equation relating Gibbs free energy to fugacity, I have to put Gibbs free energy in terms of kilojoules per moles. So what I've done is convert kilograms to grams, and then for water, 18 grams per mole. So now I have the Gibbs free energy for condition one in terms of kilojoules per mole. So I did same type calculation for G2 and converted the kilojoules per mole. And now I can apply the equation that relates these two Gibbs free energies to their fugacities. G2 minus G1. And I'm going to take the equation we had earlier and just slightly rearrange it. So log fugacity 2 over fugacity 1. And now I'm going to substitute in the numbers. So I've used the gas constant in appropriate units so that the equation now is dimensionless since log of fugacity 2 over fugacity 1 should be dimensionless. And now I'm going to substitute log of fugacity 2. Fugacity 1 is the pressure because it's ideal gas at this low pressure. So megapascals. That's equal 5.429. If I take the exponent of both sides, I have 227.8. So fugacity 2 is 2.28 megapascals. It has to be the same units as fugacity 1. So we can see the fugacity is lower. Remember the pressure 2 was 2.50 megapascals. So it's not ideal. And we've used steam tables to determine fugacity.